Stewart's had one chance. Judd now has his chance. Yes. Yeah, what a bounce he's had off that cushion there. One. He didn't expect the white to come this far up the table. Can he get onto this red with an angle to bring the pink into play? Mm, that looks to not look any good, is it? He's got a kick. He's got a horrendous six. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, the red jumped and straightened up. And worse still, the pink's now available into the right-hand middle pocket, but I don't think he's got an angle on the red to be able to get onto that. He may have to play it for blue or bought colour off the red in the middle. The inside of the blue one. Played it nicely. Seven. on that red. Yeah, but he hasn't played in anything like this, the semi-final of the World Championship. And you were right down the cue action there, and it's gone wrong. <coughs> now he's looking at the cushion as well. 18. Just because of the red, Dennis, two up from the from the, the reds in the left-hand side, he'd like to play the white over the left-hand side, just in case he missed this. Because if he plays it plain ball for yellow or brown or even the blue, if he misses it, that red will be on. He's playing the cut. This is a bit tricky. Very well done. <laughs> Has a cue ball. He needs a favourable kiss. 19. And he hasn't had it. He's looking to see if he can get to the potting angle of the green, but I can see him just stretching his neck there. That's an indication of how tense it is out there. Well, the cut yellow, the white's going to be careering around the table. Obviously, the one red in open play, the one just below the pink will pot in the right hand corner. So if he does screw the yellow in, two, uh, three cushions, he can get onto that red next to the pink. Well, he's definitely looking at the angle of the yellow. This is a brave shot to take on at this stage. Twenty-one. That was the thinnest of snicks there. Not easy to control the cue ball. It's amazing, Dennis, how he underhit that. You'd think he'd bound to come higher than that. Right in the centre of the pocket again. Thirty-two. With a 32 point lead where the balls are is probably equivalent to about 60 or 60 point lead with balls in open play. So just got to not miss anything easy. Hasn't quite got into that. He played for the one that's next to the pink. Couldn't really get the snooker, it's just a containing safety. Mm. 
No, not that plant, surely. I suppose the only thing that could be in his favour, if he does play the plant, he can rest on the other red and not leave anything on. Wow. What a shot. Look where the keyboard is over in the city of Mystic. This nose are tough enough to pop without planting one onto the other. That was a terrific shot. He's hampered slightly here, but well, I think Judd will be in shock after he's seen that plant go in. Gets nicely onto this red. He could get into the final of the World Championship. It's there. Well, I'll tell you what, Stuart Bing. Eight. As he looks around at the scoreboard, he's had at least four plants in the last five or six frames. He's picked out some beauties, but that could be the key to him getting into the final. Nine. And Stuart's team will be backstage. Everybody's palms will be perspiring. Steve Feeney has worked with Stuart for a few years now, and he's had so much success. But this will be his greatest 12. ever win. 49 ahead. Just the red. And any color. And Judd Trump, 13. well, he come back to level at 16 each, but look at that picture. He was odds-on favourite to lift the title after Ronnie went out, but Stuart Bingham had other ideas. <laughs> 18. This likeable player deserves everything he gets, and he must, the 19. feeling that inside is unbelievable. I don't know what he played to get on there, I think. Well, Judd. Stooping of 19. Is coming to the table, but barring snookers. Ace can the match, Stooping. Yeah. 